Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Okay, so the last couple days I have been on a Christmas kick and I got a request for, you know, I always assume that when we're doing off the mat that most of us only have 12 by 12 cardstock, but um, I got a couple requests saying, hey, what if we have 12 by 24 cardstock? How would we do this? So I'm gonna make the Grinch um assuming that we're using 12 by 24 cardstock and that's going to change things a little bit because if you remember we just did the Grinch at 36 inches right and um I just cut it it's actually on my mat right now I just finished cutting it took it off um so it's waiting to be assembled uh but if I'm going to change it to 12 by 24 here's why I don't I think we should make it bigger than 36 inches because if you think about 12 by 24, um, if at 36 inches, we're gonna have to use two of them anyway, right? Because 24 inches is not tall enough. And 24 inches really isn't that big of an off the map project because you would have to cut it down to 23 and a half inches at the very least, right? So if we wanna make this, I don't wanna make it 48 inches because we don't get the full 24 inches, right? So 24 plus 24 is 48, but we can actually only cut 47 and a half inches. So I don't wanna do 48. I wanna do maybe like 44 inches because see, uh, going across right here, it's 16.6. So I know I can go up to 23 and a half, right? Because 12 plus 12 is 24, but we can't do 24. So, um, I'm thinking if we did this about 44 inches, so let's look at see what 44 inches gives us. So at 44 inches, it is 20 inches across. So that's a sizable amount. And that would be two columns, right? And then at 44, we're basically gonna be slicing this up into four pieces, uh, four big pieces. And let's look at our individual pieces here. So let's ungroup it and see what where we're slicing, right? Um, so normally I'd be really, really worried because um, the face, you know, with the princesses at this um, height, a lot of times it might require some seams in the face and that's something that I will refuse to do. But knowing that, um, knowing the Grinch and the colors, I did it last year. So I know the green glitter cardstock will help hide the seams as well as the red. So let's see what the bottom, the, what this looks like. So this is 14 inches across by 19 inches. So if we had a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock, the length is not a problem, right? 19 inches, we could go up to 23 and a half. Um, and we're limited to 11 and a half across, but it's his foot that goes out. So we can probably, we could probably make this work with just a little slicing like down here somewhere. And hopefully everything else will be on one piece of cardstock. I'm not worried about the red. Okay, so I think this is a pretty good height. So again, we are assuming so this is 48, oh, 44 inches. So let me save it. Save as 44, oops, 44 inches using 12 by 24 cardstock. All right, so let's save it. Um, I try to be detailed because I do so many projects that, um, I don't want to waste time figuring out which, which one's which. <laughs> so, okay. Here we go. So let's start undoing some of these things, just moving it over. Okay, so right away when I moved the face over, I noticed that the black background is not a solid fill, right? So let's fix that first. So let's go over and scroll to the right over here in our panel. So here is our Grinch. Let's go and hit contour. And hide all. That will fill in everything. And if you can see right here already, this filled in this space that was not filled before. And I kind of like it being open, so I'm just going to deselect it. And you see how it opened up the armpit? <laughs> and then select it over here. So using contour, you can either select on the actual image what you want in and not in, 
or you could also scroll in the right hand side panel and select each one of the armpits here. All right, so X out of it. Now we have a full background, which that way all the colors can sit on top. It's a lot easier to put together. All right, so here's the hat. I love it. Everything, I mean, first of all, everything is, um, you can use 12 by 12 cardstock. So if you didn't want to, you would be fine. Now this piece, which is nice, um, so I cut it already, as I mentioned. Um, so I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Sorry, I'm grabbing the pieces right now. So at 36 inches, I had to slice off at the, at the little armpit, right? But look how thin that piece is right there. We're not even gonna notice the seams. It's gonna be red glitter cardstock. It's going to be pushed up against each other. You're not even going to notice the seam. But look at if we use 12 by 24 cardstock, we don't even need to slice anything. This whole piece will be one. So that's nice. All right, let's look at the white. Oh, wait, this green is on his face. Now, um, his nose is a dark green. It's gr darker than the rest of his body. Um, and you would notice that if you clicked on color sync. So color sync, you can see over here, we have two shades of green. I'm just gonna move it over. I don't feel like having that little tender piece of nose is gonna make a difference in a different color. So that's just me. Okay, um, our white is all good. So actually, it seems like the only thing that we're really using 12 by 24 cardstock is for this sweater and for the black background and this green part right here. For his hands, I'm assuming, yeah, all these little pieces are fine. And I'm just moving it over so that it's almost like a checkpoint. We're just checking each one of these items. It all fits. We don't need to do any slicing, any, um, yeah, anything really. So let's move all this over. And it's all just going in a pile over here. We don't really care. All right, so now we have this piece. So let's, you know what, let's rotate this for a second and just see if we can get it to be anything different. It doesn't look like we can, no. Okay. So I'm going to slice it right around here and see if it makes a difference. So let's bring in a square. And I wanna slice it somewhere like that. Okay, so let's grab the two and slice. And let's see if now this whole piece, okay. So he is almost, oh, that's getting too big. Let's see, I'm gonna rotate, oh, come on. I'm gonna rotate him this way to get my width. All right, I'm kind of stuck. He's, oh, I don't know if this is gonna let me. It's just a little bit too long at 11.7. I don't, it's not gonna let me cut. Darn it. Okay. I was hoping to get it under 11 and a half and then it would let me cut on a 12 by 20 format, but the way we have it, it's not even, it's gonna give us an error. It won't let us continue um, we need to get one side down to 11 and a half. So I'm kind of undoing this for a second and seeing if I can slice off anything else because the way they measure distance is from the most left to the most right. And so in this case, why am I not able to get undo this? Okay, here we go. Um, I was hoping that from here to here, but it looks... Uh, 
Uh, I think this is just a little bit too long from his belly. Um, so what we could do is if we slice it right around here, I wonder if that would give me enough 12 and 7. Um, okay, let's try that. Sorry, I'm thinking, trying to see, I mean, it's funny because even using, well, because we made him so big, but um, let's see if we did something like this, if that would help us. So this piece is 11.7 by 13. Yeah, I just can't. I think he's so wide right here that it's not letting us. Oh wait, I'm almost there. No, I went too far. Ah, oh, it's just a little bit too long, so I can't. I almost feel like with his legs, we should have gone a little bit shorter, a little bit but now we're stuck. We, we've already gone this far. So unfortunately, with his belly being so wide, we're actually going to need to slice him quite a bit, even though we have 12 by 24 cardstock. So in this case, I'm trying to think what would be best. I almost feel like if we cut off here and here, so we cut off the legs. Um, let's try that, okay? Because with the dark green cards, uh, glitter cardstock, I do think it's gonna look good. So I'm kind of putting it here so that it's gonna slice through like this, okay? So let's grab this and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna slice that. So the legs are, okay, so this will go through on one piece of cardstock right here. And then this will go through, let's see how big this piece is. Let's rotate this a little bit and see if we have some room to work with. Yeah, so this, let me see if I can do it. You could even probably, now you're stuck. So you have to do this on a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock. So let's see what it looks like. I've rotated him so much that I can't figure out where So it's gonna look something like this. The seams won't be that noticeable. It's gonna be something like that, okay? Um, so you can delete. Oh my goodness, what just happened? <laughs> I'm trying to undo. Let's see, where is everything? Oh, okay, it's all right here. Um, okay, so I can grab this and delete. We don't need that. We don't need this. Okay, so he's all cut up. So what's funny is using 12 by 24 cardstock and making him much bigger. Um, it didn't help us with the legs, but let me show you what this would look like. So let's build our 12 by 24 pieces of cardstock. You're gonna bring in a square and you're gonna unlock it. Okay, so unlock it, and we're gonna change the dimensions to 11 by 23. Technically, it's 11 and a half by 23 and a half, right? But 
I don't believe it matters in this case, right? Because 11 plus 11 is 22 inches, which we needed two columns anyway. And then for 44, 23 plus 23 is 46. So yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's put this here. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we always do. We're gonna go to the position feature and round to the nearest whole number. So 2.11 becomes two and 1.22 becomes one. Where basically your X coordinate is the one running across and your Y coordinate is the one running up and down. So we're saying for X, go over two units, Y, go down one unit, here's the beginning of our rectangle. We're gonna duplicate that tri uh, rectangle. <laughs> We're gonna put it right next to the first one and we're gonna go to the position feature and round again to the nearest whole number because this will get us to have two flushed rectangles. So 13.11 becomes 13, 1.11 becomes one. So now we have a set, right? So hit the shift key and go over here and grab the other one and we could just duplicate. Then we can put this flushed set really close to the first one and then we can just go up here and round to two and 24. We have four rectangles completely flushed with each other. So we're gonna cut the Grinch, even though he's 44 inches, he's gonna be in four big pieces, okay? So you kind of see his elbow sticking out right here. We can click on him and then arrange, send to the front, and now we can kind of see where we are cutting everything. What we definitely don't want is, for instance, this. So I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about, what you don't want to do. You don't want to slice him up where all of a sudden, this is what we don't want right here. Because you see here, this seam is going to cut through right here and all of a sudden we're going to have a little sliver that we need to tape down and keep track of. So we don't want that. We either want something like this, so this whole thing will be one big piece, but that's that's coming a little close right there. Okay, so I think this might be good. So this is coming straight down. This whole top part is one big piece. This is one big piece. And then, yeah, this is one big piece. So I'm gonna zoom out and we're gonna slice it three times. So let's take one corner at a time and the black image and slice. And remember, we're, we can only slice two things at one time. So it's gonna be one gigantic rectangle and the black image at one time. So see, I'm just grabbing the two things and going over here and slicing. And then I'm gonna slice the last piece here because once you slice three out of the four, the last piece is already off by itself, right? So now we can move over. I always like to kind of just move it over and make sure that everything's sliced properly. So you can see these are four big pieces. And it's kind of nice because usually my, my black background is in, um, oops, what happened here? My black background is usually in, I don't know, like eight pieces, right? And now this is nice that it's in four big pieces, so it's a lot easier to keep track of. Um, and then here, we're just gonna grab everything and delete it, because we don't need the, um, the slice results. All right, so here is your Grinch up 44 inches, not a lot of pieces, let's go to make it. Well, let me save it, and hopefully, that glitch is gone where all of a sudden your project is gone after you save it. <laughs> um, all right, let's click on make it and see what we have. Okay, so that's not a problem. Let's look at all our white pieces. So this is glitchy because normally the white would all be on one mat and this is already popping off. I mean, we can move it. That's not a problem, but it's just kind of, I feel like you know when design space is glitchy and when you first go to the make it mat and not everything is showing on the mat, then you know it's kind of already not good. <laughs> all right, so here are your white pieces all on 12 by 24. Here is his leg, all nice big pieces. This is pretty cool. And it's nice when it's big pieces because um, you also don't, I mean, it's just easier. You put it down, it cuts, you, you're not taking out reloading, it's nice to just load a few times. All right, so here's our red shirt. Our red shirt, we definitely need this to be on a 12 by 24 mat. I don't know why it let us go on a 12 by 12 mat. This is so weird. Okay, so let's flip this guy over like 
This is really glitchy. Okay. And it's not even letting me rotate it, but the sweater should be 112 by 20, 24. Look at how. So. If you didn't, if you had the same color green glitter cardstock and you didn't need for this to be, because this face is, could fit on a 12 by 20, 12 by 12, you can click on the three dots, move object, and you can create a new mat. So it's going to ask us what color we want and we're going to click green and what did it do? <laughs> It gave us a new mat, but the face isn't on there. So it's super glitchy. Let me cancel and go back in it. Usually this will reset it, but we shall see. Let's go to make it and see what it does. Okay, so it's a little bit better. I mean, it moved it onto this one, but we know this one fits on the other one. So we can click on the three dots, move object. I move it back to this first page. And then you just need to make sure that when you're doing this though, that everything has its own space. So it's not overlapping and cutting over one another because you don't want that either. Right? So here we go. So our white is back to normal on one sheet. Here's our black. See the red is supposed to be like this. The hat. The hat can fit on the other page, so you can click on the three dots, move object, and let's move it here because I do think it will fit. I think it'll fit down here. And remember, you can rotate it. Oh, per oh, it's a little. It's close. I don't know if that's a good, oh wait, I can move this. Okay. So that will cut. Okay. So your red, you only need one 12 by 24 piece of cardstock. Your yellow is tiny. Hopefully you have scrap paper that you can use for that. Here's the green. What I was saying earlier is the legs need to be on a 12 by 24 mat, but this one, if you didn't want to waste this paper down here, although, but we can move the object and create a new 12 by 12 mat. Okay, see, so put it on here for you. Um, and actually, maybe his belly could fit with his legs. So let's move this, kind of just moving things around, make it really, really efficient. Um, oh yeah, so that fits, so that's nice. So there's our 12 by 24. This one, we you know, you can move it to either sheet 10 or sheet 12 because there's space. So, and then that's it. All right, so I hope that was helpful. I know there was a lot of back and forth because I was still trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. So, um, I love using 12 by 24 cardstock, but because I don't have all the right colors and I hate storing it, so I don't have like a massive amount. So that's why I just stick with 12 by 12. All right, let me know what you want to see. I mean, I'm, I'll totally do those requests. So just post your comments, feedback here. And then if you have a special request, still post it here. But with more details, um, you can email it to me at an, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.